How's it going guys? So about three days ago, the whole news basically dropped from Viz Media and this got everyone within the Tokyo Ghoul fandom kind of like buzzing about the hot topic that everyone seems to be talking about right now. I know the news got debunked, but I think this is actually the start of a good discussion to have with a lot of Tokyo Ghoul fans. So in case you guys are unaware, I'll just let, let you guys know about the news. It did get debunked, but the news that came out came from Viz Media. Now the guy I believe was in charge of marketing and was actually quoted with an article talking about future seasons of anime that were going to be coming out or getting season two, season threes, stuff along those lines. So what he mentioned within this article is that they were really looking forward to seeing One Punch Man season two come out. It's going to get like the manga's going to get very popular and the show got very popular overall. But also within that same article, he also name dropped Tokyo Ghoul, basically saying that a season, season three was on the way, which after a few hours, you know, it got debunked, basically saying that he actually meant to say Boku no Hero Academia, you know, getting a season two, and that's actually coming out either this month or at the end of the month. Now, I'm not even going to get started on how the hell you can confuse Tokyo Ghoul with Boku no Hero Academia, and I, the reason I didn't make a video sooner on this is because the news got debunked, and it didn't seem like a hot topic to cover, but I decided to actually switch it around a bit and actually just form a discussion around the idea of a Tokyo Ghoul season three. So, some people might like this idea some people might not like this idea at all i completely understand both sides of the argument like i was a fan of the of the anime it's what introduced me to the overall series of tokyo ghoul it introduced me to the manga and now i'm a huge manga fan i love the manga of tokyo ghoul and i do have my own thoughts on what is good and what is bad about the anime both being season one and route a and so i just want this to be an overall discussion about looking back at what we've already gotten through season one and route a of tokyo ghoul and seeing how how, how in the world can they continue this story that they've created within the story of just the anime and continue it with the material that is already presented to us in the manga for a season three of Tokyo Ghoul? So, looking back all the way at season one, season one was what got this hype train started for a lot of people. Season one was their entry point for getting to the series of Tokyo Ghoul, me included. So my friend introduced me to Tokyo Ghoul and the first season, though it's not perfect, it had a lot of good things going for it and it followed pretty much the story of the first half of Tokyo Ghoul manga wise. They switched a few parts here and there. They did leave a lot of stuff out, but overall it followed the story pretty much to a T leading up to, you know, the middle point in the in the series to where, you know, Kaneki gets tortured by Jason and then ends up defeating him and it basically ended right there. That's basically the halfway point within the manga. So this series blew up and made a lot of people hyped for what was going to be coming if the season two ever happened. But what the series did, which I think was very nice too, is like it ended on such a hype note. It got everyone so excited that it made him go read the manga. Same thing goes for me. So I watched season one, episode 12 happened and episode 12 is probably my favorite episode out of all of the Tokyo Ghoul anime. I love that episode so much and seeing what, what happened within that episode and my friend telling me that everything that happened within the episode is good but the manga was so much better. So I had I like basically jumped on the manga at that point and my friend you know he introduced me to where I could read Tokyo Ghoul. I went on my own and within three days I basically read all of part one of Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Ghoul Re was already out at that point so I even caught up with that series about two to three days later but I just overall enjoyed, you know, getting to read the manga, getting to see the differences, because I actually started all the way from the beginning. I went episodes 1 through 12, and then I actually went back to chapter 1 of the manga, and then got to read all the way up to where we basically saw uh, the series end, and then th that's when the announcement came, you know, that Route A was going to be coming out, and I was really hyped. I mean, I did notice differences from the manga to the anime, but they weren't big differences where I was like, okay, I'm not too concerned. but. Then news came out that Route A was going to be coming out, and this was going to be an anime original. So now, I already caught up with the manga. I knew what was going to be happening in the second half of the manga. I knew the material that was going to be happening, but then the news came out that this was going to be anime original. They weren't going to stick to the manga, so I was like, okay, so maybe this is going to be a different story that they're going to be doing. Hopefully, it's going to be a fun story. Oh, man. Route A. Where to start with Route A? All right. First off very disappointing. Route A was a very disappointing follow-up to what season one brought to us for Tokyo Ghoul. A lot of the manga fans, including me, since I caught up with the overall series, in between the time from season one to Route A, I caught up all with the anime, or not the anime, all with the manga, and overall disappointed to see what we kind of got within there, because supposedly it was going to be original story, anime only, and then stepping away and actually seeing how the series ended, the overall arc that the Route A did from beginning to end, it basically followed the overall story with just with one key decision made that changed slightly to make it 
anime original. And that was Kaneki, instead of going out and forming a group of ghouls to combat Ogiri Tree, he actually ended up joining Ogiri Tree. Now, it was a very interesting concept, and a lot of people got hyped for that moment to see, like, okay, this, so this is the route the anime is going to be going in Route A. So it's like Route Ogiri or whatever. However you guys wanted to, like, delve into the title, how, whatever its meaning were, and wh what the hell Route A even meant. But overall, looking at the overall series, it was very disappointing and lackluster. Like, it definitely felt rushed and overall unfaithful to the material, because if they were going to say anime original, I wish they actually went all in on anime original stuff and didn't even talk about any of the events that happened within the manga, because a lot of the stuff that they did end up doing just was the skeletal remains, the overall structure of the manga was there. It just took out all the meat and all of the hyped ass moments that happened within the manga because the manga had this for the second part to come up. They had Ayato's 103 bones, you know, breaking in Kaneki's badassery. We also got to see Kaneki form a group of ghouls and actually have the Kano lab raid to where we found out that Rize is in fact alive and that Kano is still using her to make ghouls like Kaneki. Then we also had the whole events with Uta, flashback with Arima, we also had, you know, the revelations with Juzo, we had, um, we had the whole Enteku raid arc, which was really good, and the worst thing that the anime could have done is what they, they just basically teased us with, and that was the whole Kaneki versus Arima fight that was going to be happening at the end of the series, because the manga, oh man, that stuff was hype, that stuff was awesome, and the overall fact that uh, Shida was actually able to kill off Kaneki in the end was very bold and it was very brave for a person to do because part one ends on such a somber note and I was really looking forward to seeing after watching Route A happen it was basically going to follow it to a T and then we have you know Hide die in the anime he carries him off and we have this standoff between Kaneki and Arima and nothing happens and I'm sitting there like what the fuck happened like where the, where the fuck is the fight? I was looking forward to this. Like, sure, it's anime original, but if you're going to be following the manga and calling it anime original, at least have that in there. It gives us something because Kaneki did basically nothing besides turning into centipede mode in the middle of this anime season. That's the only thing I can give Kaneki because other than that, he barely talks throughout the whole series and we don't get any internal monologues within his mind. We have no idea what the hell Kaneki is even doing for most of this stuff. It's him basically just crying and in pain the whole time because, you know, he's going out and, ca and cannibalizing on ghouls. But we don't get a lot of spotlight on Kaneki and it was very lackluster. And there might be some fans of Route A. I can completely understand if you guys are fans. Just for me, it was very disappointing going from a point to where watched all of, uh, of the anime season one, went and read the entire part one manga, and then fit, like just waiting for that moment for season two to drop and then just to be utterly disappointed and looking at where Ri has gone right now. We're about 114 chapters into Tokyo Ghoul Ri, part two of the overall story of Tokyo Ghoul, and there have just been amazing, amazing moments. And I can't really see how they could continue the anime with just how much they've taken out, how much it's not been like unfaithful to the overall story. I mean, I, I could see ways that they could possibly take the storyline from Route A and continue it into Re. And judging by that end credit scene that they had with Toka opening up Re, that seems to be what they're planning. But there's no news yet of a Tokyo Ghoul Season 3. And in my opinion, I actually don't want a Tokyo Ghoul Season 3 yet. Now, the key phrase right there is yet, and hear me out here, because I think a lot of people would agree that a reboot of the overall series would be really, really cool to have. This would be like a brotherhood type situation for Full Metal Alchemist, where you basically reboot the entire series. I don't care if you actually get the same voice actors back from the subbed version or like whatever, that could be very nice to see and just keep the song of unravel that would be cool too but rebooting the series i think would be much very much needed for this series because if you think about it there's so much foreshadowing and so much hidden meanings within each chapter of the manga that leads into future stuff that happens down the road the foreshadowing and the, all the events that lead into one another, it definitely affects all of the decisions and all of the characters in different ways. And if they were able to reboot the series, I think this would be a much more faithful adaptation and a lot more people would be okay with them. Like, let's say if they did announce that instead of doing a season three, we reboot the series, we follow faithfully with the material that is presented to us in the Tokyo Ghoul manga in part one, we go all the way through part one again, and then that would actually get a lot of people more faith in the anime material, and it would give a lot more people faith in the fact that if they were to do a season three, they have much better material leading up to it that to where season three could be absolutely amazing and where Tokyo Ghoul Re could be finally be adapted because 
I really, really want to see Tokyo Ghoul Re adapted into a series because there's so many good moments to where you have Heisei's meltdown in the early parts of the chapters where he's learning about, you know, that he is in fact Kaneki. The whole thing with the auction raid, the Tsukiyama raid arc, and also the Cochlear raid. There's so many good good arcs within Tokyo Ghoul Re, and there's so many good character moments within the series as well, and also the new characters that get introduced. So uh, these are my thoughts right now on a season three possibility for Tokyo Ghoul. And basically in a nutshell, I do not want a season three yet. I want to have a reboot. And if a reboot were to happen, I think that'd make a lot of people happy. And I think that would put a lot more people at ease knowing that there's going to actually be a faithful adaptation to the material that we've come to know and love. So I actually want to hear from you guys because I actually want this to be a discussion. Like in the comments below, give me your thoughts on this overall discussion of a season three of Tokyo Ghoul. Now I'm a big fan of Tokyo Ghoul and odds are you guys are too. If you guys are definitely reading the manga and you guys know about all of the hyped moments that come ap about after part one of Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul Re has a lot of good satisfying moments that happen within it so in the comments down below give me your thoughts on what you guys think. Do you guys want a Tokyo Ghoul season three? Would you guys rather go about my idea and uh, probably a lot of other people's ideas about doing a reboot to the overall series and actually starting from chapter one again in the anime and then having all of those kick-ass moments keeping it in order, not switching around arcs, you know, like the gourmet and investigator slash dove arc, leaving everything intact, putting everything in there, and just giving it the love and care that it deserves because this is a series that is very, very in-depth with the, the meanings, the symbolisms, and everything that happens with the characters. So leave all your thoughts in the comments below. And I really, really want to do more discussions like this on my channel pertaining to Tokyo Ghoul and maybe even some other series that I am interested in. But Tokyo Ghoul is something I definitely want to make more videos on. And I'm just excited to talk about the overall series because if I never got introduced this to my friend, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. I might not be making videos on it right now. So that could be something that could be totally different. So I am grateful that Tokyo Ghoul did get an anime adaptation but now that it's come and gone and now that the manga is just on fire right now a reboot I think would be really really well needed right now and I just want to get the discussion started so again leave your thoughts down below subscribe to my channel guys if you guys are interested in Tokyo Ghoul and just want to have overall thoughts and discussions on the topic of Tokyo Ghoul stuff whether it be characters moments anything happening concerning the anime for that matter just subscribe to my channel and we can get the conversation started down in the comments below and leave a like on any of these videos if you guys find what I'm talking about interesting or something you guys would like me to talk about even more of in later videos so that's it for this video guys and I'm really looking forward to actually the latest chapter coming out I believe tomorrow chapter 115 because oh boy <laughs> Last chapter was intense, and I just want to thank you guys again for watching my live reaction and discussion on Mutsuki and her overall relationship with Heise. So, end of this video, guys. I'll see you guys in my live reaction and overall discussion of the latest chapter to come out. And until then, I'll talk with you guys then. All right, guys. See you later.